Hello everyone, my name is Curtis Gettig. I'm a real estate agent here in Kelowna, British Columbia. Over the next couple months, I'm gonna take you on a tour of some neighborhoods here, show you the best parts of our beautiful Okanagan Valley. And uh, whether you're a student, a family, an investor, or a retiree, we got the spot for you. At the end of this video, I'm gonna show you an affordable unit in the mid to 700s with a beautiful lake view. It's a good unit, it'll go quick, but hopefully it's still around for you. Without further ado, welcome to downtown Kelowna. So right here in downtown Kelowna, on Bernard Street, is the epicenter of the growth in the Okanagan Valley. In the summers, they close off this street, extend the patio area. Uh, it allows some greater volume to come through the restaurants here with all the tourism coming to town, but it all starts right here on Bernard Street. Downtown Kelowna is also the hub for nightlife in Kelowna. Hosting several bars and nightclubs, as well as a boutique cinema for a quieter evening. Prospera Place, it's a concert and sports arena. It's held acts such as Cirque du Soleil, and it's now home of the Kelowna Rockets, which is a WHL team. And it's really nice to have right in the middle of town. It's easy to get to. It's a perfect sized community arena, and it's a good experience every time I go. Downtown is also home to some beautiful scenery. You get the views across the lake, beautiful green space where people throw the frisbee, throw the ball. You got dogs walking everywhere. Uh, it's just a great space for people to come and soak up the sun and enjoy the scenery of Kelowna. What's also great about downtown is you got Knox Mountain, which is pretty much considered downtown. So whether you're an avid hiker or just simply wanting to go for a nice walk with beautiful views of downtown Kelowna, there's trails ranging from 91 to 683 meters in elevation gain. Or if you'd prefer to take a peaceful stroll in the Japanese garden right here in downtown Kelowna. This was established in 1987 and it was honoring the friendship and union of our sister city in Japan. Decommissioning of the mill site started in 2020 and it's currently in talks with the community and the city council on what should be put here. It's 44 acres big and it's right next to the downtown core, which is very rare for a city to actually have the privilege to redevelop a core area of the city. Right now, there's nothing but old relics on the property, but I hope you're watching this video well into the future where you could see the city and the community come together and plan out this huge parcel for development. So here in Kelowna North, you could find signs like this, new construction development going on every single day. There's a bunch of land assemblies where a bunch of homes are getting bought up, sold at the same time, and essentially a bigger development going on that land. There's row townhouses going in and almost every street in Kelowna North here right now, and it's, it's an exciting time for this area, especially with the mill site going on and then the whole brewery district right in the same area. So a lot of people say downtown is just too congested, it's tough to drive, tough to park. But me, I personally live down here and I take these things everywhere in the summer months. They're great. So another thing that you might hear about the downtown core is the homelessness and crime. So as the city densifies, there's more developments like this with residential units coming into town with commercial in the bottom. So you get fancy restaurants like Erica Jean and other things and it just cleans up the downtown core nice and the storefronts are beautiful. So here we are at the east end of Bernard and just showing off the history, we got this house was built in 1910. At the end of Bernard Road is where the Kelowna Golf and Country Club first started back in 1920. So it's a beautiful little drive between downtown, golf course. So just south of the highway and the downtown core, really close to the bridge here is the Abbott Corridor. You won't find another neighborhood like this. It features heritage homes from 100 years ago, Victorian Revival, Mediterranean Revival. It's arguably the nicest street in Kelowna. 
So just down the highway, we got the new landmark development. So this is the heart and soul of Kelowna business. It's a sophisticated campus-like design that creates an atmosphere for productivity, company image, and employee satisfaction. So straight across the highway from the landmark building where we just were is the Parkinson Rec Center. This is where the community comes for all, all fitness. It's got a pool, fitness center. It's got tracks back there and many soccer fields for the community to use. There is a new Parkinson Rec Center on the way to match the growing Kelowna. Not sure when that is due, but coming soon, hopefully. So now that you've seen how exciting downtown is, I've shown you the Japanese gardens, the waterfront, city park, Bernard Street. In a minute here, I'm gonna show you an affordable unit overlooking the water in the mid to 700s downtown. But first, here are some stats. Kelowna's population is booming. From 2016 to 2021, the population went from around 120,000 to 135,000, an increase of around 14%. This makes Kelowna the fastest growing city in BC. The downtown district is growing even faster than that. With a growth rate of 24%, more and more people are choosing the convenience and accessibility of downtown living over the space and larger builds of the outskirts. So why I chose downtown to live in is it's got everything you need right here. You got your grocery stores, you got the hikes, you got the beaches, all the events are happening in the downtown core here. Restaurants, the walking street on Bernard when that shuts down in the summer is amazing. And uh, it just works well for me for real estate. I drive a lot in my day to day jobs of so going to West Kelowna, going to Lake Country, it's just kind of the, the middle ground for me that I can hop in and out of the home office in quick. And uh, yeah, it just suits me well. Now the moment you've been waiting for, Come follow me and we'll check out a unit in Waterscapes. Welcome to Waterscapes. This building was built in 2010. It's currently listed for 729,900. It's a two bedroom and a thousand square feet. So we're up here on the 20th floor. I wanted to show you this unit because at 730,000, that's a pretty reasonable price to get into a thousand square foot condo in downtown Kelowna, especially with a view like that. So I hope this video gave you a little insight on Kelowna, what life could look like if you did move to the downtown core. If you're the sort of person that likes the hustle and bustle of a vibrant, growing city, downtown Kelowna might just be the place for you. Thank you so much for watching. This is the first of seven videos I will be shooting, showing you different neighborhoods around Kelowna. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, so you're notified when I do post some more here. And uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Would you move to downtown Kelowna? Again, I'm Curtis Gettig. Thanks again for watching.